Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone. Uh, for our uh, video presentation about environment, uh, it is mainly about uh, landfill where the title of this presentation is named Type of Contamination in Landfills and Effect of the Environment uh, because of because of insufficient uh, formation of group member um, this uh, this group this group assignment um, I'm I'm doing it on my own for this uh, supposed to be group assignment so um, okay let's get started okay this is the uh, uh, the info of the out of the article that I'm referring I'm referring to for this uh, article for this video, uh, environmental uh, video presentation. Okay, let's go to the introduction. Okay, since this is about landfill, uh, it is well known that one of side effect of our activity, uh, which is the production of unwanted substance, where uh, the waste material that we uh, produce might be municipal solid waste, industrial waste, or even waste from construction and demolition activity and um, uh, as we realize uh, the waste that we produce will will be discarded in uh, hidden places where that far from the residential area because waste have unpleasant odor and it can cause the increase of rodent population air population aesthetic problem yeah, because landfill can make the site is not uh, pleasant and also dangerous for human health. This is the com this is the crucial causes uh, causes uh, effect from the landfill. Let's go. We discover the type of landfill. All right, everyone. To classify any landfill, there are some features that we should be taking into account. Each type of landfill have this its description and operational each type of landfill has their description and operational for a specific type of waste material okay let's we get to know the main group of waste we have two main group of waste which is hazardous and non-hazardous okay for the non-hazardous we have two group which is municipal solid waste and also industrial waste and also there are many subgroup under industrial waste so, for this uh, article, we are discovering about construction and demolition waste, which is the waste related with building or destructing building, infrastructure, and everything related with it. So, let's go. Okay, we discover first the non-hazardous waste group 1, which is municipal solid waste, where it is the household waste disposal. Yes, the disposal of waste that we create every day from our place which is uh, because of it is uh, municipal solid waste which is household because of this household because of this uh, household waste disposal site uh, we can throw other non-hazardous waste like sludge industrial solid waste and also CNDW which is construction and demolition waste okay remember it okay Non-hazardous group two, uh, waste, uh, non-hazardous group two, which is industrial waste, it is uh, waste that generated by the process of manufacturing or industrial process that include electric power generation, fertilizer or agriculture, chemical, agriculture chemical, food, electric product, etc. Like we have uh, stated here. Okay, we go to the subtopic, uh, subgroup under. Not hazardous waste, which is we gonna cover about construction and demolition waste, which is CNDW. It is a uh, waste produced as a result of building new construction or renovation or and demolition of old building, infrastructure, road bridge, runway, and set clearing. Okay, from the process CNDW, they have many variety of building material like we have stated uh, above. Okay, because of that. Some part of them are recyclable, fortunately. And there are some uh, usage of those ingredients, those materials that environmental friendly, 
the cost of those material are uh, environmental friendly it is uh, have the opportunity to reduce uh, the usage of raw material but some of them also can be recycled because of that they are they are yes exactly sent to the landfill and because of this landfill only consists of construction and demolition waste uh, other non hazardous waste msw uh, municipal solid waste, industrial solid waste, hazardous waste cannot be thrown over there. Do you remember something? Okay. For the non-hazardous waste, which is uh, for the landfill that has municipal solid waste, uh, all non all non-hazardous waste uh, can be thrown there. But if the landfill only have CNDW landfill, which is construction and demolition waste. Uh, another non hazardous waste cannot be thrown over there. Even hazardous waste, eh, yes, definitely hazardous waste cannot be thrown over there. <laughs> okay, let's okay, let's proceed to hazardous waste, which is waste. It is uh, hazardous waste is the waste that has dangerous effect on us. Yes, because it is uh, consists of many harmful chemical like arsenic, barium, etc. Because of that, uh, they need to they need to be disposed separately from non hazardous waste because uh, that waste will produce harmful chemical if it is reacted with its surrounding. So because of that, they need to they supposed to be uh, disposed in separate landfill in, uh, instead of uh, disposed in the same landfill as non hazardous waste. Okay. After this, uh, we are going to talk about landfill impact. Yes, exactly. Landfill has many have many landfill have many uh, bad impact, which is uh, water pollution, air pollution, soil pollution, even exactly natural environment pollution. Because of that, even though um, and if the landfill affect one pollution it will affect all pollution as well because of that we need to be careful with the impact of pollution from the landfill okay we landfill can contaminate surface water and groundwater resource from the leachate produced from the solid waste landfill and we need to know that the leachate contain many toxic elements and heavy metal and so on that can contaminate surface water and groundwater resource also, we need to know that rainfall and also soil moisture play important role in the production of the leachate. If there is many rainfall, uh, there is many also leachate. And also, when the soil is so moist, if the soil is so moist, it will uh, the flow of leachate to the soil, and it is leak into the water source. Uh, when it is leak to adjacent river and pollute river, uh, that's a bad thing. If, if it is happen and landfill also cause air pollution by emitting gas, dust and gases such as methane, carbonates and etc. These gases are produced from the decay of organic matter by, organi by microorganism. These gases can collected and separate methane and used for various purposes. And um, in fact, there is also potential for fire to be occur from the flammable gas produced at the landfill. Because um, the gas produced from the decay of microorganism and the gas produced also can cause flammable, can cause a flame. And the amount of landfill gas is highly dependent on the composition of the waste, moisture content, and temperature, landfill age, and etc. And also, there is a free effect on the natural environment, also. And also, there is uh, acid rain also. Um, occur because of the landfill because the gases from the landfill when the acid when the gas from the landfill meets with the rain rain water it will make the rain acidity and it will cause many effect on the photosynthesis process of the plant and also soil contamination also affect us and um, it is a bit shocking that even though uh, you need to know that even though the landfill has no more in a place the effect of it still prolong after 
uh, there is no land free at the place which is very surprising all right let's move on to soil and water contamination and its effect on the environment let's go all right there's a storytelling here okay when waste are moved to a landfill and it is buried there are various biological and chemical reactions take place for the decomposition of the waste this reaction can be categorized into four different phases which are initial aerobic phase anaerobic acid phase initial methanogenic phase and stable methanogenic phase all right okay the overall the overall condition of the landfill has effect on the process of the decomposition in addition we need to know there's a direct relationship between the composition of the decomposition stage and the characteristic of the leachate because when the waste are buried in landfill over the year the landfill will have a change in their decomposition because of that it will generate different leachate over the year we need to know that because of that we cannot say that each year they have same constituent of the leachate because as the time goes by different type of waste are buried over them over them over and over again they will have a change in their leachate over the year okay we have talked about this over and over again that the most problematic change in landfill is leachate because when there is a landfill there is also a leachate there is a fact that we can't deny and also we need to know that the quality and the, one, the quantity of leachate in different landfill periods depend on various parameter like we have that stated over there there are many parameter used to measure the the constituent of leachate because we we have discussed about it just now different landfill have different constituent of leachate because of uh, many composition of the landfill which is different from one another due to waste characteristic composition degradation stage and landfilling technology however the composition of leachate generated at landfill is divided into four different groups dissolved organics inorganic macro components heavy metal and xenobiotic organic compound and these four group of leachate contamination that generate in landfill show that leachate has a wide range of component each of which can have negative impact on soil groundwater and surface water and the life of aquatic and animal also in some case they will they can enter the food chain and be hazardous for human health for the conclusion in open dump site there is no there are no barrier between waste and soil from this it will make the formation of leaches because easier its penetration into the soil also easier if there is uh, if the soil moist if the soil is moist and also as as it rain occur it is harming the environment for years if it is left untreated landfill also have no cover that was in the view of it plus making the order and also making uh, the rodan fly bird and animal come to the landfill in contrast Sanitary landfill has advanced facility and also advanced system in collecting leachate. After each landfill clearing session, they also covered the landfill with soil layer to prevent the odor, fly, and also many bad things from the dam site. Even though like that, sanitary landfill also have impact, which is still there is a leachate formation from the sanitary landfill. Even though it is minimal, but still the leachate formation is still a thing making it making it still uh, concern about the formation of it and also the comp as the component of leachate is different from landfill to another to mention that the penetration of leachate into soil and water resource have negative impact on environment for a long time even though the landfill has been no more in the area but the effect of the landfill is still there what do you think about uh, this topic related with landfill? You can post your comment on forum and also the comment section below. Hope uh, I can answer all of them well. So see you in another dimension. Bye.